Okay then, so in this video, we're going to be going through an electrophilic substitution question. All right, this is an AQA past paper question. This one specifically was taken from physics and math tutor. So we're gonna take advantage of that resource. So benzene reacts with ethanol chloride in a substitution reaction to form this guy right here. Okay, now this reaction is catalyzed by aluminium chloride. Write equations to show the role of aluminium chloride as a catalyst in this reaction, and that we have to outline the mechanism for the reaction of benzene. All right, and we have to name the product here. So I'm gonna do that in order. So first off, let's write our equations. Now, this is going to be our friedel crafts acylation. The other electrophilic substitution we need to be aware of is just nitration, but this one is friedel crafts acylation. So let's jump straight into this then. So aluminium chloride, let's start by drawing that. So aluminium chloride, AlCl3 due to the Al3 plus ion. This is going to react with ethanol chloride. So we've just got our ethanol group, CH3CO, and then it's gonna end with Cl. All right, hopefully you're familiar with naming acyl chlorides by now. So what's this gonna produce us then? So one of the chloride ions, this guy right here, is gonna be donated onto this, okay? So we're gonna have AlCl4 minus, because it's gained a negative charge from the chloride ion, plus CH3CO plus. All right, so this is the formation of our electrophile. Okay, so what's up next? Now, whenever something is a catalyst, okay, and we're drawing a two-stage reaction, we always have to start it as a reactant in equation one, and then in equation two, which I'll write just now, it has to be reformed as a product. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Now, the formation of the electrophile for friedel crafts acylation and nitration. I recommend just remembering them off by heart. Once you've done it a few times, once you've done a few questions, it's really easy to remember. Um, but if not, you can always work it out in the exam on the fly. It just takes a bit more time. So then our AlCl4 minus is going to react with our H plus, okay? Now we're gonna see where this H plus comes from once we've done the mechanism, but for now, just accept it. <laughs> so this reacts with that to produce us our AlCl3 plus hydrochloric acid, okay? So as I mentioned, first, first equation is gonna be a reactant. Second equation is always, always, always going to be reformed uh, in the reaction or regenerated is a terminology AQA likes to see. And that's because it's a catalyst, okay? It doesn't get used up in the reaction. It just provides an alternate pathway with a lower activation energy. All right, so next up, we've done that first part. So, okay, we've written the equations. Now, or well, that would be two marks actually. Now we just have to outline the mechanism for the reaction. All right, so this is really simple. Um, pause the video, attempt it yourself, and then we'll check through afterwards and see if you got it correct. So I'm just going to draw our benzene here. Uh, we've got a cheeky ring in the middle. Now this is going to react with our electrophile that we produced with our acyl chloride catalyst. So this is, I'm going to draw this out with the double bond and everything. Uh, CO, uh, CH3, isn't it? And this has a plus, it's very important that we denote charges. Now this region here, this, this fat ring on the benzene, this is an area of incredible electron density, okay, due to the uh, pi orbitals within the double bonds. So what happens here is that that um, region of electron density or the negativity is attracted to this electrophile, okay? So that's gonna come on here, boop, and be attracted to that positively charged carbon. All right, now what we're going to form here is an intermediate. So I'm going to draw out our benzene again. And then this is going to be attached to our COCH3. Okay, now remember that each of these carbons here within our skeletal um, structure of benzene has a hydrogen attached, okay? I'm going to draw that on here, hydrogen. Now this ring, this ring right here has now been broken. Okay, it's donated a lone pair onto this carbon to form a covalent bond, okay, a dative covalent bond. So what's gonna happen here is we have to draw this ring in a different way, okay, and it's referred to as a horseshoe. Okay, now I'm gonna draw that right here. Okay, now it's very important in AQA when you draw this horseshoe that you do not pass the boundaries of the carbons adjacent to the carbon that was bonded on, okay? 
So hopefully that's clear now. If if this is the carbon which the electrophile was bonding, we cannot cross the horseshoe past the adjacent carbon boundaries. Okay, that's a weird rule they have, but just take a note of that. Now, what you need to do is you also need to denote the charge because we've lost, we've lost negativity, we've essentially gained positivity. So you need to draw a positive charge within the horseshoe as well. Okay. Now what's going to happen here is our hydrogen is going to donate its lone pair within this covalent bond back to the broken ring to restore the stability of the benzene structure. Okay. Now this is going to come off and we're going to get our product. So let's just draw this. So it's going to be our COCH3. Okay, and draw like that. Now, it's pretty simple, right? And this would be the sequence you apply to any electrophilic substitution question. The delocalized ring of electrons attacks the electrophile, forming a dative covalent bond. This hydrogen on the carbon that the electrophile bonded to then donates its electrons within the covalent bond here back to the ring to restore its electron density and its stability. And then we form a final product. Now, We've done the mechanism here. Now, what do we have to do? We have to name this product, okay? So pause the video, think to yourself, you may have already done this and when you were doing the mechanism, but think to yourself, how do we name this product? So what functional groups do we have present here? So we have a ketone group right here and we have a benzene group. Now, in nomenclature under the IUPAC system, a ketone, okay, is always going to be a greater priority than a benzene. Now, in this case, then, this benzene actually becomes a functional group of its own where it sort of is branched off from the molecule. Now, when a benzene becomes a C6H5, which is branching off from the molecule, it actually becomes a phenyl group. Now, when it becomes a phenyl group, like I said, it actually becomes lower priority than a ketone. So all we're going to do is put our ketone as the suffix here. So that's going to be how many carbons here? There's two carbons, so it's going to be ethanone. Okay, and all we have to do is chuck a phenyl in front of that. Okay, so that's our name right there. So we get a nice mark for that. You get a mark for this um, curly arrow here. You get a mark for this curly arrow and the overall structure, the horseshoe and the charge. Now, earlier I mentioned that this H plus comes from somewhere, okay? This H plus actually comes from this guy right here. It leaves the benzene and it bonds, it, it reacts with the aluminium Cl4 minus to reform the AlCl3. Okay, that's what happens there. So then, that's the end of the video. Hopefully you found it helpful, um, learn a thing or two. If you did, be sure to like the video. It really helps the YouTube algorithm work its magic, helps the channel grow. Subscribe for future chemistry content. Best of luck, guys, in your exams. Peace.